Hello, my friends. I'm going to be doing a swipe tonight, but first I wanted to show you um, an embellishment I did on this Chaos Dutch Pour I did a little while ago. If you recall, if you saw this video, I had a huge amount of negative space at the top, and I knew I needed to embellish it in some way, fill it up, and this is what I did. Let's see, I don't know if I can even get the whole thing in the in the screen here, but I ran a uh, fishing line with a, a lure in the top half there and then painted this tr rainbow trout. It's kind of fun to do. I've never painted anything like that before, but um, it wasn't easy, but it was fun to see it come to life and I'm pretty happy with it. So there, that's that. And while I have your attention, let me show you another embellishment I did. You know, um, this was also a swipe. I didn't do a video on it because it was very simple, but you can see that um, it was a swipe. The back has kind of the paper towel lines on there, but it added some interest to the background. And then I swiped the bottom to look like wood. And when it dried, of course, I embellished it a bit to make it look more like wood grain. But the colors were there. And uh, I had in mind to paint this little still life. And I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. So that's that. Today's swipe is also going to be done with deco, not deco artist loft ready to pour paints, but I have extended them with my glue and float draw mix. And I'm only using four colors. Magenta deep, deep yellow, green and white. But I have mixed almost every color, except I have mixed every color except the white. I've mixed three shades of magenta with various shades, various amounts of white in there. So I didn't, this was just too dark on its own, but I'm happy with those colors. It's so fun to mix colors. The green, I just mixed two greens. This was a lot of white with a very little bit of green. And this one, same thing, but they were so similar in color that I added a little bit of deep yellow to warm it up a little more and darken it. They're pretty close in value, actually. You know what, I'm going to add a little more green to it. Let's see if I can darken it a little more. Yeah, that's that's better. Okay, and then one more. Um, I used deep yellow, but I added white, a lot of white to it to come up with this nice, rich, kind of butter yellow, I call it. And I think those colors together will make a nice kind of spring inspired, no, summer inspired uh, swipe. <laughs> I can hardly talk today. And my white is the only one that um, is not a custom mix and the only one to which I added a little silicone, a couple of drops. So let's get to it. I'm thinking that I will kind of do, I have more pink than uh, green, Kind of do um, the pinks up there, the greens down here, and a little yellow on both sides. And then I will swipe with white from the intersection there, up and down, tilt, see what happens. So here we go. I hope I mixed enough paint.
I don't know that I did mix it up. I may have to pause and mix up some more. I should have oh gone. I should have gone with a 12-inch canvas. This is a 16-inch. I love this size. It might be okay. And now the lovely buttery yellow. When it, if it mixes with this, it'll just make a lovely kind of peachy color, I think. And in fact, I'll just run it through. And if it mixes with the green, it'll just make a different shade of green. Okay, I think I have enough paint on there. Move it around a little bit. Get to the edges. Okay, kind of pretty right there, like it is. Okay, um, I'll leave my gloves on because I will be tilting after I swipe. So, again, the white is the only one with silicone. And I'm just going to pour it... Uh, Pretty much straight across, but um, I will be tilting to get movement in it later. Okay, I'm just swiping with a piece of, um, I think it's watercolor paper. It's not quite as wide as my uh, canvas here, but that's okay. Better use up the white.
I think I'll do the other side. It's a little neater. Here we go. Not sure about this as a swipe tool. like a, an Easter egg. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got some pretty cells here. I've got to tilt to cover the sides and break up that straight line going across. So let's begin. some pretty movement in there and stretch those cells, reshape them. Oh, it's pretty. I just had some uh, rainbow sherbet after dinner, and this reminds me of it. Uh, huh. My line is still quite um, straight, though, and I don't like that. The green side is pretty, but it's... Um, I think the other side is prettier, and there's not a lot of definition in this area, so I'm going to tilt down this way. I'll turn it towards you. Try to get the weight in the center there and have that kind of swoop down like so. Hmm. Well, I got rid of my straight line. And there are some very pretty areas. Very, very pretty. Um, I don't like this bump there that much, so... <laughs> I don't want to straighten straighten the line out again, but I'm going to find a way to the paint here and then smush it down a little bit. There we go. Okay. I think it's quite pretty. I think I could um, easily paint some nice summer flowers on there. Kind of turn into a summer garden painting. 
I'll take you in for a closer look. Oh, I like that lacing over there, the pink on, on top of the green. That's fun. A little bit of the dark showing through. That's, that's good. like it. I hope you do too, my friends. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.